Good morning guys, welcome back to Wilder Hope Adventures. If you guys don't know who we are, my name is CJ. Up front here is Kai and right behind me is Cody. And we are in here, I think it's called the Gwider, Gwider um, Forest Park. It's just outside of Bettisie Coed. And there's this beautiful, beautiful two and a half mile Forest Lakes Trail that we're gonna go check out. Oh, what a morning and it's cooled off nicely. Dogs are enjoying themselves. Had a decent night, mostly. Woke up at like 5.15, which sucks, but we're gonna go check this out. Oh guys, look at this. This is a, just a cliff here, but that tree on top obviously fell. Well, duh, it fell. <laughs> kind of a dumb thing to say. Um, but the chances of that falling in such a way that it stayed on top of that cliff is absolutely probably one in a million chances that that would land exactly like that. What a difference a day makes. <laughs> Look at these views, aren't they beautiful? Of course, with the cooler weather and the clouds, it means that we don't see the tops of some of these mountains now, which I'm okay with. So we are following a yellow route from Lynn Lin Sarna, San Saran, can't remember it. I'm really terrible with reading something that I'm not familiar with and then promptly forgetting it, even if I've read it three times. But it's the yellow route, um, and so far it's been really well signposted. It's mostly forestry roads and some interconnecting tracks, so it's not super, super exciting, but I just figured it would be a really good way to start this video, so if you haven't actually done a whole lot of actual walking. So either I'm going to rename the channel Slow Walks with Cody, or maybe we'll just start his own channel of living with vestibular disease as a dog. <laughs> I wonder how popular that would be. So we're just passing on our left our first forest lake. Um, difficult to see from this angle because of all the bracken, but we do get a little bit closer up here. Gosh, this has just been a really good start to today. I felt so frustrated and struggling with the weather, with the heat, not being able to do much. And then of course Cody limits what we do. It's, it, as much as I don't want it to have an impact on my mental health, I, it does, being restricted by a dog I love dearly more than life itself and to struggle with that, it just really makes me feel that I'm not a good dog owner even though I know I am, but to, 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 to resent him slightly from, from me stopping to get out and doing stuff just makes it that much worse too. So. But anyway, look at this view. So we've got this this lake down here. You can see there is a like flood control. It's it's man-made, obviously. We're looking out over the, the beautiful mountains over there too, with wispy clouds. All right, so we've reached second of our lakes, but it's pretty dry right now. There's a little bit of water way out in the middle, but nothing there. It's just been so dry lately and without the rain, it's, it's nothing ever, you know, that's what we need. It's not like the US where 
we have a snowpack, you know, rely on that to fill up reservoirs. If you don't get rain year round here, you don't have full reservoirs. And then it ends up as a water shortage, which is ironic in England and Wales, where it's renowned for rain. I'm not sure what this is. It looks very similar to an old pillbox, but it's it's not. It's just there's no information about it. One thing I've just discovered, and I've never seen these hiking before, or wild blueberries. I actually had to double check. Um, with a plant finder, I identify them by their leaves. To be sure, I'm just 99% sure that's what they were, but I've seen them on uh, Abby Barnes' channel for Spend More Time in the Wild, but I've never actually really paid attention to what they look like. So they're all right. They're still a little tart right now, but they're everywhere in here. Absolutely amazing. I love it. But of course, fruit and stuff on the trails is uh, means for a slow hike. I found some wild raspberries the other day too, those are really good. Ooh, they're surrounded by moths! Oh my gosh, this is like moth central. How crazy. This has been an interesting day. Went to try with Solitail Falls or Swallow Falls, no go. Couldn't access it, cost money, didn't have money. Nobody on like, the gate or anything like that. So that was a no go. Then we went to see if we could find the Grey Mare's Tail Waterfall in the Gwindir uh, Forest Park. Could hear it, knew where it was at, couldn't access it. Uh, then we went to try Fairy, Fairy Falls, just up the road from that. Middle of a town, no idea how you get to it. Uh, parking was atrocious, so gave up on that. And then we started off across the valley here at Bruno Fustidiag, and while we could see it, we couldn't get to it. So um, where we are is Kumurusu uh, Falls, and we can actually access this one. And what we're going to do is also go up to the quarry um, where there's a reservoir. That's a really pretty set of falls. I can imagine how much more dramatic this would be, obviously when more water in it, but this is crazy. We're walking through all these slag heaps of sight and the cars are all parked at the very bottom of it. So you just think in your head, like it doesn't take much for this to get shifted. Oh, I just, all of it comes tumbling down. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Thank God we don't have earthquakes in the UK. All right, so we got the second waterfall, or third as well, I guess. But this is, look at this pool behind us right here. I bet there was a lot of people in that in the last couple of days in the heat, but this is really neat. But what's a little terrifying is this back here and the entire area has just collapsed underneath the path. So uh, a little nerve wracking. Uh, 
was really crazy. So this channel right here would have, well it does still carry the water from the reservoir down into the valley, but you can see where the entire thing has been undermined and collapsed right here, right over there, and then right behind us the entire wall has just fallen in. So oh, I need to go rescue dogs before I have them fall off a cliff edge. Oh guys, this is well worth the climb up. It's only about oh, a mile to come up and follow the creek all the way up, but then you end up with a beautiful, beautiful lake. It's all quarry. And I believe you can walk all the way around it, which unfortunately we're not gonna do, not with Cody, but, but we got some of the old buildings back here too. So it looks like somebody actually lives up here, that white house. There's a vehicle up here that it's not a bad place to live, like what a view. You'd have to deal with all the tourists, of course, which is frustrating, but this is gorgeous. But yeah, the, 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 the path doesn't go all the way around, it just goes along this side and then goes on top. You can climb up some of these peaks from this point. So I wonder how old this is because it looks extremely neat. And I don't think that things were cut that neatly and tidily and smoothly 150 years ago. It looks machine cut to me, but I'm probably wrong. Maybe they did have the tools, but what a view you would have had living here. So we got Fireplace, a couple fireplaces, but there's a view outside. It's just not at all bad. I mean, obviously they are old guys. I'm, I'm, I won't say that they are new. They're, they're definitely not. Um, but they're probably not as old as I think that they are. I don't know how long this particular quarry was in operation. So these would have been several houses through here that people lived in, some of the miners lived in, or whoever lived in. But you can tell how much of these is just collapsed. We've only got one chimney left and all of this has just collapsed inwards after, over time because there's obviously nothing really holding it together. You can see where it's all kind of disintegrated away. Really fascinating though. What a find, guys. We started off really slow and non-epic and I was getting really, really dejected with not being able to find any of these waterfalls or not being able to access them. It was so difficult, but this has really made up for it. This was well worth coming up here. Now, I wouldn't call this wheelchair accessible, but this road obviously is meant to be driven on. Um, so I would say it would be a struggle. Uh, I mean, see for yourselves, this is sort of what we're walking on right now. So you might be able to make it up here if you had a, a kind of an off-road chair um, or an off-road walker, but it would be tough, I think. So if you guys feel like supporting the channel in any way, shape or form, please don't forget to check out the merchandise store. I'll put the link in the description down below. It just helps the channel just a little bit to get the Find Your Adventure Story message out there and encourage people to get some dialogue going about mental health and uh, just pushing your boundaries and just pushing yourself a little bit to make your own adventure stories. So anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here. So as always, take care of yourselves, take care of your mental health, and thanks for watching.